Good afternoon, my friends. As you can see, I got a bunch of notes on a new case that's involving the Rock Hill Police. A uh, person by the name of Ricky Price and another person by the name of Travis Price and an idiot that is trying to make her uh, video go viral by not showing the whole thing. So let me be one of the first other than the conservative twins, because yes, I talk, or I watch their TV, or their YouTube show, and I think they're kind of cool. So I'm going to run down a few of the uh, chief of police's words when this thing happened, and they were talking about it. Okay, so what originally was going on was a violent crime unit of Rocky Hill Police was working with Homeland Security. Now, Homeland Security and violent crime units usually don't work together unless it's all about organized crime, maybe cartel links, maybe border running, you know, the drugs and all that other stuff. And they had a few people under surveillance, one of which was Ricky Price. Now, they um, pulled him over in a traffic stop for an illegal turn and changing lanes unlawfully, which means like crossing over a double yellow line or changing lanes in an intersection, which is where, you know, you change lanes in an intersection. It's self-explanatory. And Ricky Price was the only one that was in there at the time in the car. So then um, they got him out and they brought over the canine to sniff around the car and the canine alerted to it. And then the car was searched. In the car was found two bags of weed and a handgun. Now, if you look at the law, violent felons cannot have handguns. Period. I don't know about Ricky Price's case. Maybe he had a second taken from him by a court of law. Maybe he didn't. But that's on them. The fact that he had two bags of illegal narcotics and a handgun, that is where you cross the line into a felony. Okay? Two of them, actually. Now, while Ricky was being searched, his brother walked up. Okay? And this was at the gas station. His brother walked up. And his brother, Travis, kept on trying to grab like items from Ricky, even though the cops were telling him, knock it off, quit it, back up, you know, and Travis kept on refusing, and it ended up him doing a body check, which uh, in hockey terms basically means you use your body to, you know, bump against somebody to back them off. He uses it, he used a body check to bump off the officers, then one of the officers decided, okay, this is, you know, clearly out of hand. And he pushed Travis away to a big-ass propane tank. And Travis kept on trying to move towards Ricky. So then the cops decided, okay, we're going to arrest you. And they took Travis to the ground. And this was about the time when that viral video, the, oh my God, what are you doing to him? Look at his face. Wah. Oh, he's not doing anything. Oh, look at the dog. Oh, this and the other thing. Drama off, okay, lady? Because nobody is impressed. Nobody believes those videos anymore. We always cross check, double check, backwards check, and find a real story. At least I do. Because I don't believe nothing nobody says. And I tend to think when I see those five-minute clips, <laughs> yeah, uh, he probably is on the ground eating dirt because he's resisting arrest or pissing off the officers. Anyway, so during that whole time, Travis, you know, the Travis fiasco, the other cops were then asked by Ricky to take off some of his jewelry so he could give it to somebody, okay? And you got to pardon me because I'm turning, you know, 
my notebook pages so I could see what I wrote down in his notes. And Ricky was in handcuffs, but in order for them to take off the jewelry items that he wanted to be taken off to give to somebody, they had to take him out of handcuffs. So they were being very, very nice. Because usually once those handcuffs go on, you can take your shit off at the cop station at the jail. Real talk. Or it'll be taken off of you. But then, uh, when they did that, Ricky then pushed away, throwing several punches, one of which hit an officer in the face. So he was trying to get away. They were trying to be nice by taking off the items, but to do that, they had to take off the handcuffs. And then he tried to get away. And so then the canine was brought out the back due to the fight with Ricky and Travis. And yet still, the officer with the canine, he didn't allow the canine to get into it. So there was no biting. There was no attack of the killer canine. There was no deployed fur missile. There was definitely no joy, no biting down on the egg roll, none of that. No bork bork nom nom. No bork bork nom noms, which was kind of sad because I really wanted to see that. And it was also reported that one of the officers had epic chin Kevlar. So to the Rock Hill Police Department and to Homeland Security, whichever one of you was rocking the chin Kevlar, it was epic. Okay? You look like ZZ Top, but younger. But so that's, that's the rundown of what really went on. Where the video pick up is after Ricky and Travis already acting a damn fool. They resisting arrest. They trying to get away. They punching at the cops. They doing all that. And now they got, now, now they both got charges, along with the original felony and traffic stop. And people are saying that these brothers are innocent. Oh, he a good boy. Travis a good boy. Oh, Travis a good boy. Like, like the girl said on the video. Travis a good boy. Um, if you a good boy and your brother is a good boy, then why the fuck? I mean, color me dumb, but why the fuck would you not only have a violent crimes unit as well as homeland security? Surveilling you as a repeat violent felon. Asking for a friend. Just kidding, I am that friend. So now y'all know the story. So now you could go to the girl that did the video, half ass did the video, didn't show the before or the lead up or the after. Just the point where they got smashed into the ground by, uh, Team America and the awesome Chin Kevlar guy. Okay? And in this situation, I applaud the officers. Call me biased. But if you're going to do felonies and you're going to do crimes, then it's your ass that's going to pay for doing those things. I'm pretty sure Ricky and Travis weren't thinking about the people that they sold those drugs to and that overdosed. They're not thinking about the families of the people that may have overdosed and died and their hurt and their loss. They show the fuck ain't thinking about being lawful, especially when you're a violent felon and you're carrying around a pistol and you know you're not supposed to. And this is what really gets me about SJW, since I'm already ranting. Is that you think that just because there's hella gun laws and strict as fuck gun laws, that crime's going to stop. I want you to look at this instance and logically explain. Help me understand. 
Ricky the repeat violent felon who probably had his gun rights taken away because of the law saying felons can't own firearms, especially violent ones, has a firearm. And is still doing crimes with the firearm that he's not supposed to have. Riddle me that, Batman. One thing we know for sure is Broad that made that video. You need to get real. Ain't no damn Travis. Oh, he's a good boy. And ain't no damn Ricky. Oh, he's a good boy. If they were good boys, they wouldn't be surveilled by police. I'm a good girl. Do you see police surveilling me? No, because they have no need to. My husband is a good boy and a firearm owner. Do you see police and violent crimes and homeland security surveilling him? Oh, but that's because you're white. Okay, I'll go white on it. My neighbor is a good boy and a good girl and also firearm owners, and they're black. Do you see police surveilling them? Try again. The reason Ricky and Travis had their faces smashed to the ground and almost had a fur missile up their ass and no, no taser was deployed, from what I'm understanding. So when she screams out, <laughs> they're tasing him, they're not tasing him. And quite honestly, I wish they would have turned around and tased your ass. Because at least then, your video would be viral f for a reason. Other than you're an idiot. It's time. For people that follow the law to get real. It's time for America and society that are law-abiding to get real. It's time for criminals to understand that in most people's minds, they deserve everything. Every ass kicking they get. And finally, it's time for SJW, Brandy Tifas, and Karens like the broad that recorded that video half assly trying to be some kind of fucking reporter on scene reporting with the dumbest ass bitch you could ever find. <coughs> now back to you, Jim. It's time for you to get real. Ricky and Travis are not good boys. They are violent felons. They sell drugs. They ruin lives. All to get rich and think about their own damn selves. They are selfish individuals. They don't have a right to hold Second Amendments because of their criminal behavior. And them getting their faces road rashed by the concrete was deserved. So it's time for you, lady, to get real with your watchers, with your viewers with your subscribers, with your friends, with your followers. Because one thing's for sure, your video shows exactly what type of person you are. And that's fucking stupid. And that's real with Robo. Get mad.